February 7, 2018 Spiritual Dejection We were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, today is the third day since these things happened. Luke 24 21 Every fact that the disciples stated was right, but the conclusions they drew from those facts were wrong. Anything that has even a hint of dejection spiritually is always wrong. If I am depressed or burdened, I am to blame, not God or anyone else. Dejection stems from one of two sources I have either satisfied a lust or I have not had it satisfied. In either case, dejection is the result. Lust means I must have it at once. Spiritual lust causes me to demand an answer from God, instead of seeking God himself who gives the answer. What have I been hoping or trusting God would do? Is today the third day and he has still not done what I expected? Am I therefore justified in being dejected and in blaming God? Whenever we insist that God should give us an answer to prayer we are off track. The purpose of prayer is that we get a hold of God, not of the answer. It is impossible to be well physically and to be dejected, because dejection is a sign of sickness. This is also true spiritually. Dejection spiritually is wrong, and we are always to blame for it. We look for visions from heaven and for earth-shaking events to see God's power. Even the fact that we are dejected is proof that we do this. Yet we never realize that all the time God is at work in our everyday events and in the people around us. If we will only obey, and do the task that he has placed closest to us, we will see him. One of the most amazing revelations of God comes to us when we learn that it is in the everyday things of life that we realize the magnificent deity of Jesus Christ.